All right, this one is amazing today. And this is what I'm super passionate about is right here. I want you to have a peek at this. All right, so if you're confused right now with the foods that you're eating, take a look at this list, okay? So some uh, protein options here for you. Some really solid foods that uh, if, as long as you're not allergic to them, then you should be good to go. Now, when it comes to uh, a lot of this food as well, you wanna keep in mind that uh, food quality is going to be super, super important. So I want you to think about going to the farmer's market and making sure that you're getting the correct foods. So that is your protein. Here are some carb options for you. Check out those carbs. Nice, healthy carbs for you that you can kind of cycle in with any meal as long as you're hoping uh, staying within that carb range throughout the day. Listen, this one is super important. Vegetables. Get these in your body, every single meal that you can, especially I'm high on the intermittent fasting uh, type plan. So what that looks like is uh, usually a 16-8. Uh, that's a good number to be at. So what it looks like is you're going a 16 hour, uh, hour fast, and then you have an eight hour eating, window. All right, so what that window looks like is you can eat, I wouldn't say anything, but you can eat a little bit more during that eight hour eating window. And a lot of people say, isn't that unhealthy to do? Well, a lot of studies have proven that intermittent fasting is actually really, really good, especially when it comes to uh, fat loss. So you want to make sure uh, that uh, if that is your goal, then give it a try, 16 by eight, okay? And you gotta think too, the time that you're sleeping, that's an automatic fast right there. So you're already fasting eight hours per day. So think about that, okay? Something to consider, it's not for everybody. And I don't want you to think this is the be all end all, but it's something to try. All right, so now if you are looking for fat loss, here's what I want you to think about moving forward. You have to be in a caloric deficit, okay? So what that looks like is, is you need to calculate your number and an easy way to think about that for fat loss to get yourself in a caloric deficit is to multiply your body weight by 10. So do that number, think about it, do it right now, in your head, in your mind right now, what is that at? So for me, right now I'm at 185. So that puts me at 1850, 1850 cals per day. All right, now if you're looking for maintenance, multiply your number by 12 and then for weight, muscle gain, you're looking at timesing that by 15. Okay, so now for all three of these, if you are thinking about the fat loss option, if you need to lose a little bit of weight here, then you want a low carb option on this one. That doesn't mean zero carbs, but try to keep that number anywhere from 100 to 200 carbs per day. If you're looking for a maintenance, timesing that number by 12, then what you wanna do is you wanna think about moderate carb levels, anywhere from 200 to maybe 350, 400 is really pushing it per day uh, on your carb intake. And same with your uh, muscle gain, try to keep that moderate carb level around uh, uh, 200 to maybe 350 carbs per day. You're gonna see great results either way with what you're focused on. But this list right here, is what I want you to think about. Okay, here are the carbs. Here are the types of food that you need to consider. Okay, so it's not about thinking about your your keto, your beach body diets, your, uh, you know, uh, whatever, the blue menu, those kinds of things. You wanna think about getting yourself in that proper caloric range. So you're in a caloric deficit with fat loss, times it by 10, by 12 if you're maintaining, and by 15 if you're going for that weight muscle gain, okay? So think about that, eat real foods, whole foods, go to the farmer's market, make sure your food quality is right on top, okay? And as long as you're working hard in the gym, you're getting lots of water, and you're getting tons of sleep, you're gonna see great results on this one. I want you to save this video so that you can review it over and over and over again, because listen, we try to complicate it a little bit too much, but this, this is the fundamentals, this is the basics, and it's not too difficult once you get on a plan. 
So what I want you to think about is I want you to get on my Get Slim program because not only will you get diet, uh, food advice like this, you're gonna get uh, these numbers here. You're gonna make sure that we crush those goals for you to make sure that you're on a plan that works just for you. So send me a message now, like this video, and we'll get you started on that Get Slim program.